Hi, I'm the Barbecue Butcher. At the moment in New Zealand, it's the season called the raw. This is the deer hunting season that you're allowed to go, legally allowed to go hunting for venison, wild venison in New Zealand. So my friend went out and he was really awesome and got me uh, a venison leg to cut up and put on the video. So let's get into this and show you how to basically do a basic butcher of a venison leg. So let's go. So this is the whole, whole leg off of venison. It wasn't too big, uh, as you can see. So let's get started. You can see this is the shank here. And we'll just talk you through it. And this is the hip bone or the H bone. So what we're going to do first, just to clean it up a bit, uh, is take off all these skirts. Let's pull them down. You can use this stuff for venison sausages and stuff later. But always remember take all this stuff off this is all the stuff that makes it super chewy so you don't want that in your sausages so very hard to cut through so that's all the trim but what we're going to do first we're going to take off the shank again just take that part off there easy come through where the knuckle is straight through and you can see the, see the cut I made. Oh, buggered that up, didn't we? There we go. And you pull it back like that, and it opens up the joint. Just like doing a lamb. So we'll put that there. Okay, so now we're into the good part. This is the H bone, or the hip bone, you can see it there. Give me tapping it. So what we're going to do... Run your knife along there first, just to open it up. I'm all about opening, opening it up so you can see what you're doing. Follow your knife, just a little bit in there, along the bone. See the bone there? Then you've got the hip, cut that, and if you see that little piece there, that's one of the tendons holding the leg bone to the hip bone. And again, open it up, open it up, and just slowly do it with your knife. Run it slowly down. And again, now you've got the end part, so just get your knife, cut around there, down, down, down. So there's that part. We could give it to the dog who's looking at us, but we won't. And then just clean all this part up. This is from a, a skinny knit. So then that part there is what we call the rump steak, or rump in New Zealand. This part here is a little piece of eye fillet that's been left on. So you can take that off, take all this stuff off, and I'll just take it off so I can show you the venison eye fillet. So that is a piece of eye fillet and would carry on down its backbone. If it was there, it would carry on down the animal's backbone to make the whole eye fillet. But when you take the, the legs off like this, that part always gets left up in there. Okay, so here's the next part. We're going to go from this top of the bone down to this part of the bone. And then this will open up the whole venison leg. So again, I always start with a little cut there just to, so I know where the bone is. And you can always see it. And then you just follow your knife down. See? And it just opens up the bone like that. And then you go like that. And then come over here. And again... Open up that part of the bone. At this end, you'll see the kneecap. You hear me tapping on it. Open up that part there, so that opens up that part again. And down again. And we come back up here. One more little line. And then cut it at the ends, like that. Not this part. Uh, just to be safe, I'll just put your knife in a little bit like that. And go round the bone. You can just follow with your knife, hold it up, just pull it, pull it, and that comes out like that. Okay. So then we've got the, the whole leg opened up. The one last bone to come off is the kneecap. Don't really want to eat that, so we take that off. And again, that excess meat can do for mince, sausages, whatever you wish to do with it. Alrighty. So what we're going to do with this cut here 
is I'm going to show you uh, venison, wild venison leg steaks, which is I'm only going to use the rump. And then the other two cuts, I'm going to take, take, take them off and put them into venison roasts, which is a lot easier to do if you want to. So just get your steak knife, follow it there. You can see the top side, big chunky part comes to there. And if I hold it like that, you can see where the rump is. And that's the whole, whole rump there. Cut it straight down. Take that off. I'm going to take off some of the back part of it. And then, oh, just to come under here. So it just cleans it all up. And we're just taking off the top part. It just gets rid of all that gristle. And then take that part off too. That, if that was on beef, would be called the rump cap or the picanha. So that's pretty cool. Pretty small, you can't really use that for much other than mince. So there's your rump, and I'm going to cut these into steaks. Turn it that way. Just trim up that part first. Probably get two steaks out of this. One. Use these for steaks, or you could put them on skewers and make kebabs. So this is the next part. One of the cool parts that I love to do is take this knuckle off and when you get the knuckle, pull it and roll it. See how it's rolling out? Just slowly roll it out like that. Roll, roll, roll. Done. And again, this part, straight into there. And you can see the different colours. That to the dark red. So we want to get the Dig your knife under, just go under, and just take that part off. And then if you've got a good doggy beside you, give him a little bit. And then on this side, you can see it again, the color difference. This just makes it get rid of the, the other side. Then on this part, I'm going to do a bigger roast, and you can see it here more. This is on the silver side, and you don't want to eat that. It'd be very grisly, that. I'm going to give that to the big guy, because he's watching. Here you go. He's very good. He doesn't really take food. <laughs> take out this little piece out of here. That's really grisly. Don't want that part. And normally... There's a little bit of fat or a gland. Sometimes there can be a gland in here. So you want to take that out, which I have. Just trim it up inside. That, gomp, 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 that was the dog biting <laughs> as I threw it. So again, we clean up that part, roll it over. And then we want to take off some of this on this side as well. And then you'll see, once I've done it, then we'll tie it, put it into a nice little venison roast. So again, hold it with your fingers and pull as you run your knife down the meat. Just like that. Easy. On this side. So on. And get it going. And then get a little... There we go. You can go a bit deeper if you need to. Just to make it feel safer for your hands. So just, just be careful. Last bit here, and then we'll tie it and roll it, and then that'll be a nice little boneless venison roast. Just last bit on the corner. So you just take it all off, and you shouldn't be left with any. Back over on the back top of the top side. Done. Okay. And just get your string. Again, I've got a video for tying knots. So just a couple of those. Just holds it together better. And it's in the in the barbecue or in the oven or however you want to roast it, slow cook it. Well 
put three I just put three on it and you can put one side long ways it just holds it all together so that'll hold that together while you're roasting it and when you come to carve it see how you've got the strings running this way follow that same string and that's the proper way to cut that piece of meat that'll come off really well this little part here you can tie it again if you want so you remember which way to cut it as well just a tip uh, for people at home they always ask me oh how do you remember which way to cut the steak so if you cut it and you put some strings on it just to remind you if you freeze it down and get it back out then you know which way to cut it just a little tip some people have started using it so then you'd put that in your a bag freeze it down and when you're ready to cut it or roast it when it's cooked just follow the strings Alrighty, so there's our basic butcher, home, home butcher of a wild New Zealand venison leg. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you up soon with another, another video. Thanks a lot.